Elizabeth I, who never married, became known as the Virgin Queen, as the daughter of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn. She was the last queen of the Tudors. Elizabeth seemed to see through the vanities of the world through her parents' feud. I don't see why a woman need marry at all. So Elizabeth put aside her love to focus on her career, the Reformation internally and externally on her quest for supremacy at sea, and created the golden age of England's history. But to become the most admired Gloriana, Elizabeth's upbringing was also extremely difficult. In 1558, at the age of 25, Elizabeth was still a naive girl, spending time in the mountains with her first love, Robert, and Elizabeth's half-sister, Mary I, was on the throne. The Catholic Mary became queen and restored Roman Catholicism to replace her father Henry VIII's Protestantism. She ordered the burning of more than 300 opponents to achieve her goal, and became known as Bloody Mary, but there were still riots and fear in the country. In order to keep the throne out of the hands of others, Mary married Prince Philip of Spain. After a long marriage, news came that the queen was pregnant. Mary thought she had an heir, so the first thing she did was to get rid of Elizabeth, who was a threat to the throne. As long as she remains alive, there will be plots to raise her to the throne. And the feud between their previous generation was deeply ingrained in Mary's mind. A Catholic, she would never allow the throne to fall into the hands of a sister of a different faith. She was born a bastard! She will never rule England! Soon, a group of soldiers surrounded Elizabeth's estate. They brought a trumped-up charge against her. Elizabeth was accused of secretly plying treason and imprisoned in the Tower of London for treason. Elizabeth denied everything during her interrogation. A staff is quickly found to beat a dog with. Elizabeth was imprisoned in the Tower of London for two months. Until Mary, the first pregnancy stopped. The doctor found that the pregnancy was false and that her ear was a farce. At that moment, a group of soldiers broke into the Tower of London and took the Elizabeth away. She thought she was going to die, but was brought to her sister Mary. When I look at you, I see nothing of the king, only that whore, your mother. My father never did anything so well as to cut off her head. Elizabeth knew that her sister was in charge of her life and death, so she did not fight with her, but said sincerely that she had never wanted to commit treason. Mary's husband had already died. The baby she was carrying was only a tumor. Her days were numbered, and she could only plead with Elizabeth to support Catholicism with the power of the crown after her death. But the Protestant Elizabeth did not answer in the affirmative. When I am queen, I promise to act as my conscience dictates. So, instead of putting Elizabeth to death, Mary sent her back to Hatfield. From that day on, Mary's health deteriorated. The situation at the domestic level was becoming clearer and clearer. Protestants were returning home to install a new queen, perhaps out of affection. Mary refused to sign Elizabeth's death warrant until the last moment, early in the morning of November 17, 1558. As the Nels told, the minister took off Mary's ring, the symbol of kingship, and presented it to Elizabeth. The queen is dead! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This was the coronation of Queen Elizabeth I. On January 15, 1559, the last Tudor monarch walked through the church and ascended to the Queen's throne in full view. I crown thee, Elizabeth, Queen of England, Ireland, and France. The moment she put on the crown meant that the innocent girl had disappeared, to be replaced by a young monarch of great ambition. But Elizabeth was handed a troubled England, challenged by France and Spain abroad, divided by religious rivalries at home, and short of men, money and resources. So the loyal Duke William suggested that Elizabeth should marry as soon as possible and have an heir to secure her throne. But Elizabeth had no desire to marry. I don't see why a woman need marry at all. The newly crowned queen reveled in her return to court and her first love. Robert, he also frequented her bedchamber. Their affair was well known at court. Duke William instructed her ladies in waiting to bring him the queen sheet every day to keep an eye on. Her Majesty's body and person are no longer her own property. They belong to the state. That day, the queen, still asleep, was roused from her bed by the minister's curtains. It turned out that the French had increased the number of troops on the border by more than 4,000. This is a clear provocation, because they think Elizabeth's power is not yet secure as she has just taken the throne. All the ministers advised immediate war. Elizabeth didn't like the idea of war, but she was a newcomer to the throne and not yet politically mature, so she followed their advice and went to war. But this rash decision had serious consequences. The British army was defeated and killed. Not only that, but Queen Mary of France saved a boy scout on the battlefield. 
Et dites à cette reine bâtarde de ne plus envoyer des enfants. Elizabeth was humiliated and her position was in jeopardy. She retreated from the crowd, trying to make sense of the chaos. Then she looked up and saw a portrait of her father, Henry VIII. The thought that her father would never have made such a mistake devastated Elizabeth. She asked Walsingham why he sent children into battle instead of a regular army. Walsingham said that the bishops had arranged it so that Elizabeth would lose her support and power. Elizabeth immediately convenes a council to propose to the bishops a policy of compatibility between Catholics and Protestants and votes on it. In your hands, upon this moment, lies the future happiness of my people and the peace of this realm. In the end, because Walsingham had jailed several powerful Catholics in advance, the Queen passed the bill by five votes. Having solved the religious problem, she then had to relieve the pressure of foreign wars. After much persuasion by Duke William, Elizabeth finally agreed to a match with the nephew of Queen Mary of Scotland. Elizabeth I was forced to go on a blind date, but her match was overzealous. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and I can't wait. The Duke of Anjou was too frivolous and debauched to be a gentleman, but Elizabeth had to endure her dislike for the sake of peace between the two countries. At the evening's festivities, Elizabeth let her first love, Robert, sit beside her. The French ambassador tried to explain to Duke of Anjou that the Queen and Robert were just friends. But while the crowd was enjoying the festivities, an arrow was aimed at Elizabeth, but fortunately, it missed. It turns out that the Holy See is not happy. With Elizabeth's proposed religious reforms, the Queen was in a state of shock, and Duke William had told Elizabeth a secret in order to get her to marry. You cannot marry Lord Robert! He's already married! Elizabeth felt betrayed, and Robert was out of her favor. The heartbroken Queen began to consider a marriage. At the court ball, Elizabeth announced that she would give her engagement ring to Duke of Anjou. But Duke of Anjou was not at the ball at the moment. The French ambassador couldn't stop Elizabeth from going to Duke of Anjou's chambers. She saw him dressed in women's clothing and mingling with the men. Elizabeth's jaw dropped at the absurdity of the scene. What? 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 After a moment, Elizabeth felt relieved. She didn't have to think about her engagement to Duke of Anjou anymore. And she was determined to break up with Robert once and for all. I will have one mistress here. And no master. On the other hand, in the Holy See, the Pope issued a bull, rejecting Elizabeth's claim to the throne and announcing that all her enemies would be pardoned. The Pope legitimized Elizabeth's assassination and gave the order to an English bishop. The assassination of the Queen also began in secret. A lady-in-waiting was poisoned while wearing the Queen's dress. Elizabeth recognizes the dress as a gift from France. She immediately sends Walsingham against Queen Mary. Mary recognizes Walsingham's abilities and tries to take him under her wing. And all was bad. Would you prefer? In fact, Walsingham was loyal to a fault. Mary lost her breath the next day. Elizabeth then set about cleaning house. First, she captured the bishop who had brought the edict from Rome. And after torturing him, she obtained a list of rebels. Elizabeth sent her men to eliminate them one by one. The leader of the rebels, Duke of Norfolk, was beheaded. The only survivor on the list was Robert. Who had betrayed her, but Elizabeth didn't do it for love. He shall be kept alive to always remind me of how close I came to danger. After clearing all the obstacles, Elizabeth cut her hair and swore an oath. I have become a virgin. Elizabeth wore her favorite pale makeup and threw herself a big wedding. I am married to England. 